Hey everyone, it's Flora. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be looking at the preview images for episode 4 of Fruits Basket, the final. I'm super, super excited for this episode. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty intense, but from the title at the end of episode 3, it looks like it's going to be continuing with the manga order of doing chapters 104. Um, but due to the quote, I'm pretty sure they're going to do 104, 105, and 106. So three chapters for the one episode. I'm hoping it's really, really good. I have my book with me, so we're going to take a look at the pictures and compare it. And yeah, manga spoilers. So be sure to head out if you don't want any manga spoilers. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. First picture. Oh, Kisa. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, this is, this is, I don't know which chapter specifically, 105 or 104. So this, basically, um, Hiro tells Haru, like, Rin's trying to break the curse, and then he finally opens up to Kisa saying the reason that she got hurt all those, you know, I'm guessing years ago from Akito was because of Hiro's feelings or whatever, but anyways, um, so I'm thinking this is right here when she starts crying and she's like you were you were thinking about this this whole time and you were worried even when I was laughing deep inside your heart you were hurting this whole time I have, I'm so sorry I had no idea so then he's like why are you apologizing that's not right and uh, yeah it's just a really nice moment between them it's showing how much they've grown since the beginning of the series. Like, they're in middle school and soon to be high school, and it's just crazy. I think Hiro has really great growth in the last season, and I'm really excited to see more of that. Um, yeah, it's going to be an intense episode, I can already tell. I don't know how much they're going to like cut out, though. I'm a little worried, so we'll see what happens. Uh, next picture. Oh, look at him! He looks so much older! Oh my gosh! It's so crazy! Maybe it's the middle school uniform. Alright, so for this second picture, I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be. The first thing I think of is at the end of the conversation with Kisa when she says, It's okay, Hiro chan. And then he makes this face. But I feel like he's like in tears and he's like, obviously has like blush marks because he was crying but I don't see that here so I'm trying to think if maybe it's a different part like it could be when Hiro's telling Haru Rin's trying to break the curse she's trying to free you and that's why she broke up with you like ugh, I love how you can't see Haru's expression at all during this entire thing and then he just like pats Hiro's head and like walks away and then we don't see his face until he confronts Akito it's gonna be because we know we know how mad Haru can get sometimes <sighs> all right next one. Oh. all right cool so they're, they're not showing too much they're like focusing on the same scene which is good because I don't want to see too much um, so this is when she tells Hiro that it's okay and they're just adorable look at them oh they changed her skirt I like I like seeing the little differences between the anime and the manga it's cool like with like outfits and facial expressions and stuff like that oh shoot okay all right we're getting into the intense stuff now <laughs> all right so basically um Hiro and Kisa are talking and they run into Haru and then that's when he opens up to Hiro opens up to Haru about Rin saying what she really was trying to do and why she broke up with him and um, at the same time while this conversation is happening, Kranos convincing the woman to give him the key and rescue Rin from the cat's room. Um, so anyways, looks like this picture is in chapter 105. So when um, it starts out with Haru like stomping to Akito's room and like slams the door open and Akito's like, what? And it's probably this expression here. When the woman's like, what are you doing? And he's like, stay out of this hag. <laughs> so then Akito can tell, like, yeah, something's, something's up. For good reason. It's terrible. I'm not looking forward to seeing Rin 
struggling and ugh, it's just awful. It's awful what happened. Okay, next one. Okay, yeah, so this is probably the same scene when um, Akito says, it's fine, Haru can come in, it looks like he has something important to talk about, and then he just gets right to it, and he's like, why did you push Rin out of the window? Why would you do something like that? Like, because he didn't know what happened, um, why she went to the hospital before. So I'm thinking this might be the, the shot here. Because Akito is very calm in the beginning. And, oh, that previous picture could also be this one. He's basically got a similar expression during the entire fight. But, yeah, this is going to be crazy. Alright, next one. Oh. Okay, so this is when he... I think this is after he punches the wall. Okay, there's two spots where his arm is, like, forward. So, there's the one part where they're talking. Oh, okay. So, during their conversation, Haru says, You were always cold to Rin. If I was always nice to her, you were always cold to Rin, to women in general. I know how much you hate them. Twice as much as everyone else. You have no problem saying cruel things. You do cruel things. If you're supposed to be our master, then you have to be more. And then Akito cuts him off saying, You realize all that, and yet you still say things like, I love Rin. And, um, I think he's, like, trying to get Akito's attention to, like, really listen to him. I'm not sure, but he isn't crying during this scene. So then Akito says, even though you know I hate Isuzu, you still told her that you love her. And he kind of just freaks out because he's like, where is she right now? Where did you put her? And then their, their voices are escalating, and then that's when Karina walks in and says she was taken to the hospital. So then Akito freaks out. Haru just kind of breaks down during this whole interaction, and then that's when he when, that's when he goes to punch Akito. He grabs Akito by the collar and, like, shoves her to the wall and then goes to punch, but then he can't because probably the curse or whatever. So then he just punches the wall next to Akito's head. And then, yeah, he quickly leaves after that. It'll make me want to kill you, so don't talk to me. Um, so I'm not sure where the tears are. It might be... Oh, I found it. I found it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the close-up of Akito after Haru punched, and then Kratos just watching, and then he's crying right there. And that's why. And that's when he's remembering Rin saying, it's okay, it's okay. So I think that's the scene. It's so hard. It's like part of having the curse, you know? It's like they are forced to be there for Akito and like as, as soon as they want to pull away, like the curse is kind of trying to tell them like, no, don't betray Akito, don't betray. So that's why Kareno really pushes Haru to leave. He's like, no, don't stay here. Like I understand the feeling in his head. He's like, I know how you feel and you can't stay. Like you have to go. Um, so he's like having, Haru's having this internal struggle as he's trying to walk away from Akito. Akito is saying, don't go, don't go. And that memory kind of flashes back and that's when he hesitates. Oh, <laughs> he hesitates and then Kareno's like, no, please, you need to go and don't come back. So. <sighs> One of my favorite lines in these chapters is when Kareno tells Haru, you need to go see Isuzu, and I'm sure she wants to see you too. Do you know why I know that? Because your name was the first word that came out of her mouth when he found her. And it's, oh, I, might, I might cry next week. We'll see. We'll see. I probably will. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is when he's saying, like, don't come back. In a few days, you'll be allowed to see Isuzu. But yeah. Good for Kareno. I'm so happy. Now do it for your own life, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this is back when... So the anime decided to show the part where Rin runs into Ren uh, on the Soma estate. They showed that early, so they probably won't be including that as much during chapter 106. I think it's 106. They will be showing the Akito part right here. 
Looks like the anime decided to add the um, binding stuff, like, to show the curse, I guess. I always thought this scene was really eerie, like, the way Akito looks at Rin. Um, yeah, so I don't know if the... I don't think the cords binding is, like, actually there. I think it's just a visualization of, like, Akito binding her. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this yet. We'll see. Maybe it'll look good, like, in the moment, but interesting choice. Oh, man, here we go. All right. This. <laughs> so 106 starts with Rin in the hospital, remembering, like, everything that led up to that point, and then she runs out, escapes, and is lying on the ground. So then it goes to what happened with Ren. The woman's asking her, do you really know a way to break the curse? Because that's how she hooked Rin in. Like, hey, I know a way to break the curse. You need to go steal this thing from Akito's room. And she tries to do that, and that's when Akito finds her, and everything goes downhill. So then uh, Ren's like, oh, no. How would I possibly know something like that? So, she's just terrible. <laughs> and I'm guessing it's either this face or one of, one of those. She was just basically using Rin to try to get to Akito and was like, Wow, I thought she would be more useful. I guess she really is worthless. It's like, wow, you're a terrible person. <laughs> okay, we have two more pictures! crazy. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, I love how like she's like, oh, I just want to dream about Haru. Like I just need something. I need something happy. And then it, it turns out he's actually there and she's just like imagining that it's a dream. And he's like, this isn't a dream. You're here on the ground. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways. I'm thinking this is when she's on the ground and she's crying and she's like, I'm so sorry, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find your happiness in a way to break the curse. And he's like, well, I guess your journey's over then and it's time to come home. And um, so then she says, he says, welcome home. Her hair kind of looks longer in the anime. We'll see what they do with the hair. I mean, she'll probably cut it more later, but... Initially, her hair is kind of like different, different lengths. Oh. The scene is going to be so emotional. I'm probably going to cry. I'm already like, oh gosh. Um, so this is when he tells her like, look, you did your best and your journey's over now. And if you don't come back to me, I'm going to be really lonely. And I won't know what to do with myself. So then she's like, okay, I guess I'll be going back soon. What a nice dream. <laughs> um, so she's like smiling and crying. and It might be something like right here, maybe. So then she's like, oh, what a wonderful dream. And then <laughs> it opens up with like, this isn't a dream. <laughs> and he immediately picks her up. And the kids are like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, it's just a wonderful scene. It's so wonderful. I can't wait. And he tells her that she's not a burden, and then she starts crying. And, oh, oh gosh, I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be so good. It'll be very emotional. So they are doing three chapters in one episode, but I feel like the events are like, you know, it's the pace will be intense, and I feel like they're gonna do a good job putting it all together. They might take out a couple things, like the scene with her in the hospital, I'm not sure, um, but I don't know. Either way, I'm really excited to see it. I can't wait, and let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all on Monday with my reaction to this episode. Alright everyone, take care and have a good weekend. See you later. Bye!